हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू आदित्य किड्स एजुकेशन सो चिल्ड्रन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट मिनरल्स एंड इट टाइप्स विथ सम एग्जाम्पल्स सो लेट स्टार्ट सो वॉट आर मिनरल्स मिनरल्स आर द नेचुरल अकरिंग केमिकल सबस्टांसिस विच मे हैव अ सिंपल और कॉम्प्लेक्स फॉर्म एंड दे आर form due to natural processes within the earth they are not made by humans okay minerals can be of two types first one is metallic mineral next one is non metallic minerals let us have a look on these two minerals in detail so first is metallic minerals the minerals from which useful metals can be extracted are called metallic minerals they are dug out from mines and processed to obtain the metals they contain okay now let's see some examples of metallic minerals and they are hematite bauxite pyrite and calamine etc next is ores now metals that are obtained from metallic minerals are called ores now see in this table these are ores and metal obtained from hematite is iron from bauxite we get aluminum from pyrite we get copper and from calamine we get zinc Now let's see some uses of metals. Iron is used for making machines and tools, vehicles, bridges, etc. Copper and aluminum are used for making electrical wires and gold and silver are precious metal and they are used to make jewelries. Now next one is non-metallic minerals. the mineral resources which do not contain metals are called non metallic minerals let's see some examples coal petroleum limestone uranium etc coal and petroleum are valuable non metallic mineral these are dug out of earth from deep underground mines and wells Let's learn more about them. So first is coal. Coal is formed from the remains of plants and other vegetation that lived millions of years ago. Do you know how coal is formed? See here. Long ago earth was covered with swampy forest. Dead plants and dense forests got buried under marshy region. and started to decay over the million of year they were covered by the sediments and new plants and over the year due to extreme heat and pressure this matter got converted into coal in this way coal is formed okay now as you can see in this picture died trees and they get covered with layers of sediments like stone sand etc and after many years these decayed trees and plants convert into yes fossils and when they get extreme heat and pressure they convert into coal i hope now you understand how coal is formed next is types of coal they are peat lignite bitumen and anthracite anthracite is the best quality of coal let's see the uses of coal coal is used as a fuel for cooking for producing electricity in power plants in steam engines etc next one is petroleum petroleum are crude oil as several name like rock oil fossil fuel black gold and liquid sunlight now let's see 
how petroleum is formed. Millions of years ago, aquatic plants and animals died and got settled on the ocean floor. When aquatic plants and animals die, they settle down on the ocean or seabed and with the passage of time, sand, small stones and some other sediments cover them and they become, yes, they become into fossils. And with the time, excessive heat and pressure, it changes into petroleum. In this way, petroleum is formed. Let's see some uses of petroleum. The main use of petroleum is as fuel in different forms. Like, we get LPG, CNG, petrol, diesel and kerosene from petroleum. And these are some petroleum products like nylon, fertilizer, nail polish, medicines, shoe polish, paint, plastic articles, candles and lubricating oil etc. And one more thing, minerals and natural resources take thousands of years to make and they cannot be replenished in short time. If we don't use them properly, they will exhaust very soon. So, we must use natural resources very carefully. So, leaving with this message, stay safe and be continued with my channel. Okay?